Hey everybody, how's it going? If you're new to the channel, I've got a lot of bait making, rig tying, carp and catfish videos on this channel. If those are things that you're interested in, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. It really helps us out, helps the channel grow, and it's greatly appreciated. If you have any questions, you can comment on the videos or message us on Facebook. We try to respond rather quickly. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We appreciate you tuning in. Today, we've got a video on how to make grits pack bait. Uh, this is a bait that a lot of people say works good in the spring and fall, but honestly, I've caught fish on it all year round, so I think it'll do just fine for you about any time you want to use it. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, step number one is going to be to measure out what we're going to need is 18 ounces of instant grits. And unfortunately, where I live at, you can't buy the big bag of grits. I know a lot of you guys in uh, North Carolina and stuff, you can buy a bag, but we're gonna have to measure out these little individual packets. We'll bring the camera in and it'll be interesting to see, these are supposed to be one ounce packets. it will be interesting when we weigh them out to see if they are actually one ounces like the manufacturer says. So let me bring the camera in here. So it took 20 packets, all right? So that tells me that they were shorting each packet from the manufacturer because each one is supposed to have an ounce in it. But if you live in a place that sells the bags, you're gonna measure them out that way anyway. But if you're planning on making this bait at home, I would use a scale if you're getting these uh, boxes like I had to get because apparently they lied to us. So once you've got 18 ounces of your instant grits measured out, go ahead and dump them in a bucket. And the next step is gonna to be to add in nine ounces of your quick grits, okay? So basically, it's gonna be two parts to one. And let's go ahead and zero that back out. So now we need nine ounces. It's hard to do upside down guys. We're about there. And there we go. Nailed it. All right, so now you're gonna dump your nine ounces into your bucket as well. And then we're gonna mix it up. Like I said, basically just think of it as a two to one ratio. The quick grits are what makes it break down. So if you were to do all instant, the bait would not break down for you. So mix this together real good. I think we got it. We're gonna move on to the next step. So for the next step, all we're gonna do is add one can of cream style corn. My wife got me the kind you gotta use a can opener on. I hate these. I always prefer the pull tabs myself. A lot easier that way. Plus you don't have to carry a can opener around with you. So we're gonna dump that in. Now some people mix their flavor into the cream style corn and then mix it up. I'm the opposite. I like to mix the corn in first and then add my flavor. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a really good mixing. And while we're doing that, if you take the time to hit that like and subscribe button, we would greatly appreciate it. Trying to build a channel and a community around this channel that helps other people out, uh, new carp anglers. 
as well as seasoned carp anglers. And if you've got a different take on this recipe, feel free to share it in the comments. I've also got a link to my Facebook page in the video description. Hit me up over there. We're all about helping around here. I love seeing new people catch fish. We all gotta start somewhere. So we're gonna mix this up real good. You want no dry spots, mix it thoroughly. And this bait is pretty much ready to go right after you mix it. I mean, you can wait a couple minutes, but it'll pack right after you're done. Looks like my dog wanted to come down and see me. He decided to open the basement door somehow. All right, we've got it mixed up really good. So what we're gonna do now is add a little bit of flavor to it. We're going with uh, Tutti Fruity from Hog Sauce today. A nice smelling flavor. Mm. I don't know if you saw my other video, but uh, I was doing one with Razzle Dazzle, I think it was. And that's a nice smelling, it's like a grape mixed with something else. And I was telling you guys that while I was making my bait, it made me want to get some Kool-Aid. My wife saw that and actually went out and got me some Kool-Aid. That was pretty cool of her. I'll be honest, when I was a kid, I loved this stuff. It didn't taste nearly as good as an adult as I was thinking it was going to. So we're gonna mix this in. I like to add about anywhere from a quarter to a third of a bottle when I do my baits, but that's all up to you. You can add as little or as much as you like. We're gonna mix it in. And then I'm gonna pull from the bottom to get all the unflavored bait up to the top and I'm gonna mix in just a little bit more. Grits do take on a color pretty easily since they're white. Um, you can fish them plain. You don't have to have any flavor added as well. I call that the snowball. We used to do that all the time when I was younger. Now this looks pretty good. Um, what I'll do is I'll bring the camera in, show you the finished product, and we'll also do a breakdown test on it for you so you know how long it takes to break down. Another thing I thought about adding to my videos would be like a castability test. I don't know if you guys would like to see that or not. If you would, let me know in the comments. I can pack it around a, you know, a hook and take it out and throw it just to show you if you're capable of throwing it a long distance or if it's something you got a baby a little bit. But uh, we'll bring the camera in, show you what the finished product looks like. All right, guys, we're gonna get our hand wet. Pack us a ball up. And get a breakdown test on it for you. This is a bait, as I said earlier, is pretty much ready to go right after you're done mixing that. We've got a nice little ball packed together for you. Drop that in. And if you make it the way I showed you, it will break down for you. Usually takes about a minute and a half, two minutes, depending on the water temperature. And if you've got any recommendations on some stuff you'd like to see, feel free to leave it in the comments or shoot me a message on Facebook. I have a link to that in the video description. This is a bait you can pack pretty tight and cast it a long way. And it's also kind of cool because it has pieces that'll kind of float up and down. I think that draws the fish in. They just kind of bounce around in the water column. We're 
we're setting at about a minute and a half, I believe. And it's about three quarters of the way broken down. So I'd say before we hit two, she's gonna be fully broken down. And there we have it, she's fully broken down. Like I said earlier, we appreciate you tuning in. We hope you have a great rest of the day. And if you would, hit that like and subscribe button.